everyone. Today I'm going to talk about my kindergartner's curriculum and I'll also link in my other girls curriculum as well. But I have five girls I am homeschooling and that would just be a lot of curriculum. So For my kindergartner's ELA, she is five and she turned five in December. She is not reading, so we wanted to go with a slower pace for her. And we chose master books. And one of my favorite things about them was the scope and sequence. So when I looked at their scope and sequence, it was very detailed week by week. And for me, because I am a teacher and I still have to work, having it already planned out for me already during the week was so much better and I just love the colors and the details in this book and it is Christian based and that's fine with us and it has cut and paste, tracing, her letters. It's just a really good fit for her. So we'll supplement as the time goes on. I don't, I think by December we should be halfway through it. Um, this book is, let me see, it has things in the back of the book for the teachers, teacher aides, mini books for the letters. This book has, I'm sorry, it has 36 lessons and it is 389 pages and it works on a three day grid. So that's pretty cool. It even has a little diploma in the back. So I'm really excited. We already started on it and she seems to like it. We also went with their math, but um, she counts pretty well and she can do adding on um, on games with her. So we also went with master books for math. Now, the one thing I didn't notice when we were looking was that there's no adding in here. And that's a downside for us because she does do math and she can add. So, but it has a lot of tracing um connecting so it is critical thinking and we'll use it um to help her but we will supplement in for her addition um she does need more writing skills so this will help her as well then for our supplements we're gonna add in i got this from dollar tree and she just can add um it's we've been using some of them so she just gets to use it and to add her numbers in with that because we do use different supplements for her to teach her how to add. And these little workbooks are a dollar at Dollar Tree. So we'll get some more of those um, when we go back for a haul. Um, and we are doing science. So she's actually doing three different um, subjects this year. She's doing science and this came from Master Books. It is Let's Talk Science, Adventure, and Creation, level one. We felt she was ready and she likes to do experiments and we were excited to look at it. It also has a master list inside the book for you so you can see all the things you're going to need for the assignments. It has a scope and sequence. In the scope and sequence, you work three days out of five. So that's not too much for her. It's not too harsh. It's a lot of stories and then coloring and she can trace it's still um small enough for her on her level but but it's still engaging so she can trace it's not too much and we did our first week in it and she loves it she thought she thought she's a big girl because she got to do her own science experiment and the colors in this book are amazing and fantastic I can't, I cannot say that enough. This is so bright and fantastic. And I just, I really do love it. And she, I, she loves it so far. So that's great. She'll be learning about other animals and things in this book. 
So I'm really happy with this book. And it even tells you that it should only take 20 minutes per lesson to do it and how long and how you want to space it out. Um, I did buy this teaching companion um, for math because I am teaching four grade levels of math and I wanted to make sure I was covering all the subjects and it goes all the way up to sixth grade and just gives you little hints. It even came with a little sample readiness test in the back so you can see if your child is ready for what level and it gives you the answers. Um, this is level three readiness test. It has, talks about money and multiplications, time, plusing, addition, subtraction, tracing. So it just gives you little hints. It gives you recipes in here. So I just thought that was really cool and I can't wait to try this with some of my girls to see what they really enjoy. And then we also picked up this. I got this from The Good and Beautiful though. Um, I also got her a tracing for um, writing. And this is actually their arts and crafts book and I'll use this with all my girls, but I just really thought she would enjoy this. So, and here's her little writing book from The Good and Beautiful. It's so tiny, which is cute, but I like the way they have the tracing in there for her and the letters and she'll love this because she thinks she's a big girl and she is mommy's big girl even though she's growing up too fast so i like this and we'll use this and it has different little activities um once they trace they have these little activities over here on the side so i think she'll love that we're going to use that in our morning work after we do bible so here's some of our supplements for our curriculum. This is a money book that we'll be using with all four girls this year, teaching them how to tell time and teaching them about money. And what I thought was really cute was that it's princess theme, it's Disney theme, and my girls are all into Disney princesses. And I got that from the Dollar Tree. Most of these, I, these um, supplements I did find in Dollar Tree. Um, we got a sight words book. Um, she can trace at the beginning she can trace but she can do sight words she can gobble and I like this because she has to actually write the word and that gives her writing practice as well colors she actually knows all her colors but I just thought this was cute and something for her to do while I work with one of her sisters she can have a little activity and it was a dollar then we have words, phonics, um, rhymes, and more. And she can trace and match the things that rhyme together. And it also has some writing in here for her as well. And it's quite colorful. Um, this could be work for pre-K, toddlers, and kindergarten. Then we have colors and shapes. I picked this up because it's Minnie Mouse and she loves Minnie Mouse. So it's, we're teaching her about her shapes. She knows most of her shapes as well. And this one has trolls and she likes the new movie Trolls that came out. She's always talking about, she's Tiny Diamond off the second new movie. So she likes that. Here's another Colors and Shapes workbook that I found. And it actually teaches them how to write the word for the colors and the shapes. So I thought that was good. And I picked up this color and shapes workbook. We have an addition workbook for her. It uses um, vegetables and animals for her to count and to add. So we are very excited about working on this. And this is another addition and subtraction. She's not ready for subtraction yet, but eventually she will be and we'll have it for her. This is a numbers book, numbers one through 12. Um, she actually knows um, up to 30, but this is good because she can count. It's never too, you never can have too much counting skills in practice. Um, writing for numbers one through 10. Words, it's a sticker book for her. So she just cut out the stickers and place them on the correct words. A phonics book, some more phonics. And then as we go along in science, we're learning about the different animals and just open this up 
this actually came from the dollar tree they have really great um supplements and just things to read so she loves all things sea life most of my girls do and so this is the curriculum that we chose for our girls um our, our kindergartner and as we go on we'll probably add in the good and the beautiful k our first grade um level for her for math so hope you if you like this video and you found it informative give me a thumbs up hit that like button subscribe and share until next time be blessed and have a wonderful day bye